Anchors away. Welcome to Big D Country. And man, uh, first of all, before I tell you the uh, the festivity that we will be doing. Wow. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to the work group. I mean, man, I ate. Uh, I'm safe, even though I did have that mental breakdown. Well, not mental breakdown, but I just had a panic attack at the doctor's. Uh, I'm taking medicine that helped him, but it makes me tired. I just started taking it the other day, you know, day after I went to the doctor's. Uh, but here's the story. Now, trying to fight this overpayment that got me, that landed me here, that almost had a nervous breakdown when I came here. And if there's a government shutdown, and thank God that there's not a Big D country shutdown. We just avoided a Big D country shutdown. Um, thanks to a generosity of uh, someone in Big D country. Uh, thank you for that. But, yeah, but if we can't avoid the, the real shutdown in the U.S., then that's going to put a hold on not only my waiver... Until they could come up with something, and they and they got a terrible Congress, terrible Congress. And then on top of that, if Kevin McCarthy makes one mistake and then he gets fired, then we're gonna have to go through all the post process over. Wow, and the government shut down and can't even not can't even get out of the shutdown. So we're in a bit of a pickle here. I mean. Things are just going to bad to worse, and even though I'm taking my medicine that's working, but still, things are just going to bad to worse. And then a senator had the senator from California had died. I was looking at stories for that. Then New York City was uh, flooded. I saw pictures, I saw videos of Brooklyn uh being flooded. I was like, my God. People were actually walking in the walking in the uh, in the on the flooded streets. Uh, people had to abandon their car. I actually saw that on YouTube. My God. And the thing that's what I said before. The thing that I was scared of the most when people politicians die while they're in office, it happens. It just happened. Great. And I think the senator was from either the senator or, or a house member. I think it was, I think it was a senator, but it, uh, she was from California. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, I think it was the senator. I think it was that because I had a video talking about the uh, uh, president of the Senate that cause the Democrats had control, majority control, but it's down like one or two senators or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, God, what is going on? What is going on? And they found the bastard who put a hit on Tupac Shakur back in the year after I graduated high school, which is 1996. I'll be reading that story in a separate, um, in a separate uh, podcast. But I am very happy. I am very happy that they caught the bastard. It took a long time. It took to now because I was look, look, looking at video, trying to last, yada, yada, yada. Uh, this was before dinner. This was before resident dinner. And I was looking at the store, uh, looking at videos, and then pop up from um, from Houston News. Hey, caught the guy that put a hit on Tupac Shakur. I was like, yes. I was so happy. I was so happy. I was talking to one of the residents and told him what happened because he might not be aware of what happened. And then he told uh, told me his favorite song. I told him my favorite song. My favorite song was Changes. Uh, you know, that's the song that used, uh, that's just the way it is. Something will never change. The way the music was flowing through that, that whole song, it was just it was so awesome. It's so awesome. But they finally caught the guy. And I'll tell you, if this guy, this bitch, is not guilty, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be. I'm pretty sure they're gonna be protests. Pretty sure that they're gonna be protests. But finally, after all this time, there could be justice for Tupac Shakur. Finally, after all this time, and I've been around for many of this. I've been around from my high school graduation to 
to the pandemic, to the crisis. I mean, and then now they finally caught the bastard that brought the Tupac gone. And he was a trailblazer in hip-hop and rap. He was a trailblazer in hip-hop and rap. With meaning. With meaning. He sung sung songs with meaning. You know? And I'm pretty sure he still surely missed. He still surely missed. But I am so happy that they caught the bad Like I said, I read it doing the... uh, I read it doing another podcast because I really want this to be about the... NFL pickup. Now, I know I'm kind of late because I went to the doctor the other day. I was going to do the NFL pickup then. And then I went to the doctor. And then uh, when I finally took the medicine and it made me fall asleep. And it's still drowsy. I just, I guess for an offer, but then by the time I'm going to pick it up, because I got to take morning meds, morning meds. Afternoon, uh, evening math, I should say. Excuse me, excuse me. It's morning and night, and night. But anyway, anyway. So even though it make me drowsy, but it's working. It's working. All right. So here we here we go. Uh, you might hear the song on the uh, other other podcast, but uh, I'll sing a little bit of the uh, of the song right now. It's we. Four of the of the NFL pickup deep in the heart of Texas, Texas City and not Galveston are doing the NFL pickup. Anyway, and once again, thank God a uh, shutdown was avoided for a month here in Big D country at least because I was so worried that I wasn't going to do my podcast. This was part of my coping skills. I was watching videos and. Also doing the uh, uh, Discord that's lacking players right now. There's only two or three people, or two people. Last of three, and then the other two. But I think they did 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 a game, but I forgot. I don't know. I don't know. And my history on Wheel of Fortune is terrible. I didn't even get to the uh, I didn't get to the tournament like I did in uh, Tic Tac Toe. Yeah, I didn't even get to the tournament. So terrible. I don't want to do a game that I can't do. It. Don't even talk about countdown. I suck at math. Anyway. Okay, so there is a late game that I didn't even do. I admit, okay. I might do week four, five in another segment as well. But here it is, uh, week three. Now, uh, one of my picks would have been the Green Bay Packers. And I lost already. Because the score is uh twenty to thirty four, so we don't. Yeah, Malachi, go ahead and be happy because your team won. Malachi, Malachi, your team won. Anyway, so I can do all the Sunday predictions, and they got an eight thirty a.m. game again. Here we go, and then the rest is twelve o'clock. I tell you again, who is going to watch a game so early? When they got Sunday school, uh, when they got some places have morning worship. I mean, some churches have uh, two service. Some churches have a 9 a.m. service. Some churches have 11 to 30 a.m. services with Sunday school in between them. You know, but I need a who want to watch a game at 8 30 in the morning? What's up with that? Who was the decision maker that had people want to watch games at 8 30 in the morning? I ask you that. Anyway. All right, now most of the teams, except for the March Emerson team that I don't like, uh, uh, will be a part of the double down. Especially this one. Uh, Falcons versus Jaguars. Uh, I'm going to go with the Falcons being ahead and Jaguars being the tail. Very difficult, to say the least. Right or die time. This is the first 12 o'clock game in the, the week. Uh, begin October, and hopefully there's no shutdown, no government shutdown at least. Thank God no Big D country shutdown, thank God. All right, and thanks again to the, the citizen of Big D country who helped me to avoid the uh, Big D country shutdown. It would have been devastating. Uh, but anyway, the Colts will be my ride-or-die team. I am not picking the Traders, the Rams. 
The Rams are still traders, even though I'm not living in St. Louis. They're still traders. Although I like parts of the movie The American Underdog, except for that engagement part that almost made me cry, made me think of my late wife. I didn't want to see that part. And especially the kid took a part of the engagement. That that really that really uh, kicked me in the stomach. That really kicked me. The kids took part of that game. It's the, the, there was a scene during American Underground where the, the person that uh, the, uh, I guess the player that was trying to get a, a spot on the football team uh, wanted to marry somebody that she likes. And then, you know, she had kids. And the kids got a touch with the game. And then I almost lost it. I was coming back from one of the conference. I was coming back from a concert when I watched that movie. It was either conference or Vegas. I don't. I don't even know. I just almost lost it. I don't. I almost lost it because we were coming back, and they was. Uh, uh, he just got signed. The player who in the movie just got signed to the then St. Louis Rams before they became traders. But anyway, anywho, anyway, a little Lisa is part of the NFL pickup. But anyway, Ravens versus Browns. Okay, double down. Ravens first will be the head. The Browns will be the tails. And the Browns did surprise this last week, but they're still going to be the tail. Vikings versus Panthers. Vikings will be the head, and the Panthers will be the tail. Bengals versus Titans. After a win last week, uh, the Bengals will be the head, and the Titans will be the tail. Oh, ride or die, ride or die, ride or die. Uh, Tom Brady and the... the, uh, the Buccaneers versus the Saints. It's going to be all Saints. All Saints. Get it? All Saints. Uh, your Honor. Your Honor. Your Honor. Your Honor. Your Honor. The Bills are playing the Dolphins, who gave the Denver Broncos a shellacking and murdered, and I do mean murdered, the Broncos by the score of 70-20, which I will remember for the history of the NFL pickup. I'm gonna to have to do this a double down because because of that no because of what the Dolphins did to the Denver Broncos I'm gonna to have to do now whatever team win that's still gonna be a win for the 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 NFL pickup but after that the performance that nearly left me speechless I'm gonna to have to say the Dolphins is gonna be the head and the Bills is gonna be the tails yeah. That's my logic on that. That's my logic. Because I'm still floored over that. I thought week one was crazy. Anyway. Oh, boy. Speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. I was just talking about the Broncos. And talking the Bears. The Bears. And another double down. So, I'm going to do a reverse. The Bears is going to be the heads. And after they got literally buried... 70 to 20 by the Dolphins after they got literally buried. Buried, I tell you. The Broncos is going to be the tail. There you go. No, the ride or die. The Commanders, the worst team in football who has been lucky a couple of times this season, are facing the Eagles, but I'm still going with the Eagles, ride or die. Double down, double down, double down. Texas versus the Steelers. Of course, this is my home state. I got to go with Texas the heads, and then I'll go Steelers with the tail. One of my other teams in football, the Raiders, Las Vegas Raiders, will be facing the Chargers in a uh, 305 action, uh, action game. I'm not picking the Chargers, and I'm not included to the double down. No way. I'm going right or die all the way with the Raiders. All right. 325 action. We're seeing the Cardinals versus the 49ers. Double down. 49ers will be head. Cardinals will be tail. (laughs) 325. Arch Nemesis. The Stupid Patriots. We'll be taking on another another state uh, state team, the Dallas Cowboys. 
I have to go with the state team that was Cowboys and put it as a ride or die. Ride or die. Oh, this should be a crazy one. This is going to be the prime time event of the season. 720 will be the action start. Uh, it's going to be the official team of Big D Country, which is the Chiefs, and then the Jets. Uh, uh, but you know what? I'm going to put the Chiefs at the head since they're the official team of Big D Country, and then the Jets at the tail. So, yeah. Okay, Monday night football. There's only going to be one game on Monday night, which is the 715 action start. Uh, 715 kickoff. It's going to be an East Coast West, uh, East Coast West Coast battle between the Seattle Seahawks versus the New York Giants. And it is an East Coast West Coast battle. I'm going to do a double down. Yes, I'm going to do a double down. I'm going to put the New York Giants ahead because I used to be an East Coast person. I was born in the East Coast before I became a Midwesterner. And the Seahawks is going to be the tail. And so that's it. That is your uh, week four late NFL pickup because I missed the game on uh, yesterday. But I got to Sunday then. And I'll probably go ahead and do week five probably tomorrow. And I'm going to be the, the, the delayed uh, fast lane predictions as well. But uh, there you go. Here you go. All right. I got something I got to say. I got I to gotta, I gotta put this off my chest. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, exercise my freedom of speech to say, 2023, yes, sir!